गुड मॉर्निंग आई होप एवरी वन हैज प्रैक्टिस यस्टरडे दैट आई एम अ पीसफुल सोल एंड आई एम सन ऑफ परम पिता परमात्मा शिव द इनकॉर्पोरियल गॉड फादर ऑफ ह्यूमन सिविलाइजेशन परम पिता परमात्मा शिव और टुडे इज अ वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट डे बिकॉज दिस इज द लास्ट डे ऑफ द ईयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू now we are entering into a new year with new enthusiasm to live life with more energy more spirit and by taking care of your health and family our job and all that which concerns us so welcoming 2023 and for that we need to have something new as in the poem of tolstoy it is it is said that ring out the old and ring in the new so we have to leave our old thing from our mind and give mind new beautiful things let us gift ourselves with positive habits ishwar your sanskar so that we can purify our self make our mind more healthy and precious it is very wonderful to say that we are gifting ourselves if we can gift ourselves and that is uplifting our attitude towards our life our inner look and outlook to renovate our mind with divine values with energy that will last continuously and that will help us to remain happy so commitment is the important factor for us to bring that positive change so let us ring in the commitments to ring out the old habits now ringing is bringing the poem says ring in and we will say bring in bring in the mind bring in the habit so we need to bring in the change and let us commit some five important things there may be more but let us try some of these five commitments in our life the first commitment you can make is to wake up early in the morning those people who wake after 7 o'clock 
or even more late than that are losing their precious moment of life to bring a positive change there is a universal energy which is flowing throughout the globe between 2 to 5 there is a cosmic energy if you utilize this time for bringing new things in your life you will succeed the best meditation time is between morning 2 to 4 2 to 5 let us commit ourselves to sleep early early to bed and early to rise try to make habit of going to sleep before 9:30 at the most 10 o'clock and try to wake at around 3:30 to 4 o'clock life or time we can say which is lost is never recovered so you have to estimate evaluate your own time the more valuable you make the time the more you become valuable in your life for god and for others and for yourself first so let us commit ourselves that from new year onwards i will wake at least by 4 o'clock and start meditating or listening to the there are various meditational songs meditational videos on youtube music you can listen all that so this is a first commitment that i will wake early in the morning from new year onwards the second commitment you can make is I will take care of my health the more you take of care of your health the more you are happy so tr- find out what are the factors which are adversaries for my health and the first and foremost adversary to your health is your thinking process your habits your actions the five organs five sense organs typically the eyes mouth and the ears see that what i am intaking from these sense organs when people talk to you the word goes through your ears and then to your mind and you get irritated your mouth uses wrong language when you are irritated try to see that whatever people talk to you and what you react is more peaceful we cannot correct people we can correct ourselves so the second habit you should see that you spare ample amount of time in a week 
for a positive change. Spare at least half an hour where you are disconnected. Half an hour daily where you are disconnected with the world and you start contemplation, self-talk to yourself. Try to do that to boost your mind. Make your mind your best friend. So spare some time in isolation and find out what are your positiveness. Boost your positiveness so that it is easy to leave your weakness. The third habit you can cultivate in yourself in this new year a commitment to yourself the third commitment you can make is you write something good you you can jot down your observations about yourself about the situations you are facing and what you are planning for the future so try to maintain a diary where you write those things and see the change after a week or month so that will that is a called a chart of yourself see the actions which you want to cultivate see those actions which you want to leave from your habit and try to see how slowly and steadily it's leaving you leaving your thinking thought process so all those positive habits you want in yourself try to maintain the chart for a month for a week or on daily basis so this is a good habit is a good commitment to yourself if you start writing so first was this a commitment to wake up early second was you do some physical exercise to maintain your health third is you spend some positive times throughout the day for yourself at least for half an hour fourth was you write something write make a chart of positiveness and the negativeness within you try out to bring in the posit positiveness and try out to leave the negativeness the fifth habit which um, can boost your moral can boost your attitude is to talk with people talk to your relation at least one hour about their goodness one hour in a week not in a day about their goodness about their positiveness about their importance in your life what you feel about them their goodness talk to them so that that will normalize the relation that will be in that this talk is an investment in others for example if a person is not is uh, using wrong language with you during conversation try to appreciate him for other things he may be cooperative he may be alert 
he may be active in other activities so try to observe the positiveness of that person and try to boost him in that activity so that he may be losing the negativism for you if you cannot speak at least give vibrations to him give positive vibrations to him so that whenever he comes in front of you he will get those vibrations from you and one day or other wait for the change don't be desperate don't be uh depressed or losing your hope maintain that energy minimum energy to tolerate that person to accommodate him in your mind accept him as he or she is and be calm and cool you are a powerful soul no negativism can dump your positiveness challenge your positiveness so that much of strength if you hold in your mind you will be able to upgrade your mind to a next level so these are the five commitments some of the examples which i have kept before you you can make more commitments positive commitments for yourself and this is a process of self empowerment this is a process of self improvement although this is not ishwariya sanskar ishwariya sanskar yesterday i have said is to be a student learn something from spiritual knowledge ishwari sanskar means to forget and forgive ishwari sanskar means cleaning your mind ishwari sanskar is to be a good lender giver to others but today we have discussed only about our commitment as we are bringing in new year for ourselves for every every second now is passing of 2022 to welcome 2023 so let us make a positive commitment to ourselves and so that we can rejuvenate our mind empower ourselves to bring the necessary change purification of self so that a life becomes enjoyable and su- successful om shanti